Hello. Today I want to have a quick look at triggers. Um, sometimes we might get a craving or an urge to use and we think it's come out of nowhere. But it probably hasn't come out of nowhere. There's probably something around us that's triggered that craving, that urge to go and use our substance. And a trigger can be absolutely anything. It can be a sound, a place, a person, a smell. Uh, absolutely anything can be a trigger. And if we can work out what our triggers are, we can work out ways of avoiding them, and that can help reduce our cravings and our urges. And we can use a trigger log like this one. So it's just a grid, um, and in it we have when we felt our urge, where we were when we got our urge and craving, how strong it was, so out of 10, a mark out of 10, what we think the trigger was in that, and how can I avoid that? So a couple of examples might be, um, say on last Sunday, at my mate um, Brian's house, say, got a real craving, real urge to use. Um, on a scale of 10, it's probably a seven. Um, so I can think about that. What was it then at Brian's house? Well, Brian is where who I always used to use with. Um, and so it's the memory of using when I'm at Brian's house. So it's the house itself. So how can I get around that? Well, possibly I could meet Brian somewhere else. And then being at his house wouldn't be a trigger that would cause a craving. Another one, quick one, might be um, Monday night, Monday evening at 6 p.m. Uh, where? Well, at home, watching The Simpsons. Got a real craving to use. Um, Maybe it was a, an eight. Um, what was the trigger? Well, maybe I always try to hang off using until six o'clock in the evening, and then I always watch The Simpsons. And now, when I hear The Simpsons theme tune, it acts as a trigger to me. It reminds me of that time when I used to use. So it's actually The Simpsons kind of themes tune that's the trigger. So what could I do is maybe not watch The Simpsons for a while. And if we can keep these lot, one of these logs and keep it for a, a couple of weeks, we can soon begin to identify all those triggers that might cause us to crave or an urge to go and use. And we can work out ways of getting around that so we don't crave or, uh, or crave or have an urge anymore. Um, I hope that was useful.